When I was pursuing a master's of history at the University of Calgary in 2004, my area of interest was Aboriginal people and specifically Métis women. I was just a little bit tired of uh, reading about Métis history focused around Louis Riel and the rebellions and so on. So I wondered, you know, what happened to the women and what happened specifically after the end of the fur trade and a lot of them moved further west and so on. So I knew I wanted to focus on a Métis woman. Now, the challenge with that was that there are very few sources available for Métis women in that particular time. But my supervisor at the time suggested that I read a book entitled $50 Bride, which was published in the 1970s by Murray Rose's granddaughter, actually. And it was just a brief memoir, not a lot of sources and that sort of thing, but it uh, opened the door for me. It kind of it led me to the Glenbow Archives in Calgary, which holds all of Mary Rose's manuscripts. Mary Rose was quite unusual in many ways. She was traded by her mother to a Robin Whiskey trader when she was 16, and she settled in southern Alberta with him. Now, her situation might not have been all that unique for a Métis woman because there were connections forged like that during the fur trade. But what was unusual about Mary Rose was that she actually wrote about her experiences and left documents. Her family left her manuscripts at the Glenbow. So I was uh, fortunate to find those manuscripts and I, that's what I based my master's uh, thesis on and then my subsequent book was based on my master's thesis.